First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. I don't know if you watched the news yesterday, all this stuff going on with uh, cyber attacks Mm -hmm. and ransomware. So they take over your system and then they want money. And uh, the uh, White House yesterday and the government, federal government said uh, companies and corporations should prepare. Uh, Schools and uh, municipalities prepare uh, because they're coming at us like never before and no one is safe from this. So you have to have a plan in place, and they go over the whole thing. Uh, The only person I know that uh, can kind of break this down for us and tell us what we should do and what we should be doing right now is Dan Khalil from AIS and Great Castle Securities on the line right now. Daniel, good morning. Hey, good morning, Bill. How are you? Good. Um, A lot of talk about your industry um, yesterday on the news. Um, When I when I first first of all, am I correct with this, Manaski? Dan, you're you're uh, you're starting a new radio show here on IBX. I've heard. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what I hear. Me and uh, my buddy Dan Carey got our own. Yeah, it's, show. it'll be the Dan and Dan Security Show, and <laughs> yeah. we're really looking forward to it. Manaski, who handles programming on IBX, very shocked, but uh, it's yeah. coming, Jeff. This is coming, so get ready. Well, Dan's good. <laughs> it's good I didn't realize it could get through that quick. <laughs> oh, we're, we move quickly around here. <laughs> yeah, I so. All right. So um, there is a great deal of uh, anxiety on on the news from yesterday. Companies, I mean, look at what has already happened in the in the in the last couple of weeks here. Yeah, it's uh, obviously with all the ransomware attacks that we've uh, experienced or yeah. that we've seen, it's created uh, significant exposure in the public eye. Um, and uh, and and now, of course, we have the government that is. Is saying, "Hey, look, uh, this is this is real, and buckle down because it's, it's potentially coming to you." Um, and so that just creates, you know, even more awareness, but also more more fear uh, of of what's to come. Um, you know, I had um, I'd wondered yesterday, and they said, "Have a plan. What is a plan to be able to get your system back up and running? Um, is it possible that that we're all going to have to run a mirror system?" Uh, that runs separate, that can be put back, that can be fired up almost as you'd have a, uh, almost like you'd have a generator in, in your home if the electricity went out. Yeah, there's a number of different uh, technologies that can be utilized to get back up and running quick with, with basically a backup. But what it comes down to is making sure that those uh, offerings, if it's, you know, let's say backup uh, drives or it's what they call network segmentation, or isolation, all these different things that can be utilized, they have to be installed and configured properly. Yeah. Because otherwise, the ransomware has gotten sophisticated enough that it will actually traverse right to the backups themselves so that they're useless. So there are things that you can do to get back up online, but it all depends on how it's configured and maintained once it's up. You know, I know what it's like uh, around here. This has happened in media as well. And what it's like around here when all of a sudden the system goes down, um, you, we've become a society that relies so much on computer systems. So the minute everything shuts down, it shuts down everything. And uh, so, what can the average person do? Uh, because it could, you know, it could affect uh, just a, everything from a major corporation to some households where you can't get the money out of the bank, you can't do A, B, and C, all because everything's been shut down. What can we do? Well, I mean, the average person right now isn't uh, the subject of the large-scale attacks right. that we're seeing. Um, however, it doesn't mean they couldn't and they haven't been before, so I don't want to uh, downplay that at all. But, um, you know, it's, it, I hate to say it, but it, it goes back to a lot of the same things that have been talked about for 20 years. Uh, good, good. what they refer to now as cyber hygiene. Don't visit, uh, you know, Sites that are less than uh, reputable. Yep. Make sure that you have firewalls and antiviruses in place and up to date. Make sure that you, you know, use strong password complexity. Visit sites that have encryption. You know, don't share um, information unnecessarily. Use what they call two-factor authentication, where you know you'll get a text message, let's say, to validate that you are in fact uh, the person trying to log into the system or log into some application like your bank. So. There's a lot of things that we can do. Um, I, if I had to boil it down, I would say two fa- two factor authentication is probably, you know, one of the one of the best things that we as individuals can use. And like I said, that's where you log in, and then it says, 
verification is required, and we'll send a text message to your phone, yep. and you have to take that pin and enter it. You know, i got to tell you, I had uh, logged in to the Internal Revenue Service website. Have you, have you logged into that one lately? Uh, I, I have not. Okay. It is, it's three-factor. It's three factor. Uh, so here's how it goes. You have, to, you have to have a password, and they want you to use a really good password. Uh, which in the days of being able to remember your password, I just know my password by heart. Uh, sure. It'd be impossible today because you need so many. So first step is you you enter your password. Then another screen comes up, and it is a key phrase that you have given when you initially signed up that you would recognize. So when that pops up, you have to put in another password to confirm that you recognize that key phrase. And then there's a text message that is sent to you or an email, which gives you a six-digit code that you have to then type in, and then you're into the site. I mean, how safe is that? It seems like that's pretty complex and pretty safe. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is. Um, you know, but a lot of this stuff, that's, that's helping to validate you to make sure that you are, in fact, the, the actual person behind the keyboard and yeah. trying to log into your actual account. How much? the irs from a broader ransomware attack i'm not sure yeah um, but it's certainly good for you but when you think about that type of um setup you know in the security world we love it but as a consumer hate it you know imagine if companies like amazon use that every time i know uh, you know would people really be buying to the extent that they do because of what they believe is the inconvenience so there's yeah. a trade-off with security and then on these uh on these uh, double and triple authentications um, isn't it possible that if someone has taken over, if someone's gotten into, let's say, a, a Amazon's account, uh, if they've compromised Amazon, then they would have all that information at the, on their computer system, wouldn't they? And they could just, I think I'm authenticating with Amazon, but I'm I'm really authenticating with a bad player. Correct. And now that, that bad player, bad actor, that they have your credentials to get in, but um, you know, I, with all due respect, I don't. I don't think your credentials give them access to the keys of the kingdom within Amazon. Right. Good um, point. You know, but it but it does give them access to to your account and all your purchase history and and the ability to do purchases uh, in the future as well. Yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be uh, how 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 uh, how successful are we going to be? What do you think we're going to see? And are we fighting a losing battle right now? No, I'll never say we're fighting a losing battle. Just real quick, I mean, we talk about ransomware right now because it's so prevalent in the in the market, and, of course, the government's talking about it. And it is on the rise because it's very lucrative. But, you know, attacks have been around, as we talked about before, for, for many, many years. And before what it was was, you know, uh, criminals would hack into a company's database and steal all the personal information and then go uh, sell it or, or reuse it uh, elsewhere. This is just a, a more updated type of attack where they're not even, they may be stealing the information, but in this sense, they're also saying, hey, you owe us you know, a bunch of money if you want to get back on. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, I say that because while it's in the news and, and there's definitely an uptick, um, it's consistent with the trend over the last 20 years. Yeah. Uh, and they are getting better and better, though, uh, whether it's, uh, whether it's uh, the ransomware that's, uh, that's attacking municipalities, even hospitals during COVID that was going on. Uh, sure. They are getting better and better, and um, it is becoming more and more difficult for the, the, the general consumer to deal with this as well. I mean, you just don't know. Uh, the, they, they're, they're really good at what they do at deceiving you. It's really incredible. They are, and, you know, the... We can't stop doing business, and at this point, I don't think you can reverse this, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you ever been to a restaurant where the credit card machine is down? They don't have the old paper swipe like they used to. Right. Um, it, it cripples them. So the onus, in, in many respects, is on the business owner to have a good cybersecurity program in place yeah. uh, to limit the likelihood or, in the event that it occurs, to limit the damage and exposure and to be back online as soon as possible. And I'm sure that uh, this topic will be one of the topics of many on your upcoming radio show. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking security, but, yeah, we'll go that route. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Listen, it's... Uh, if you it's... know Dan, that's probably not what we're talking about. <laughs> All right. should be exciting. Okay there, Daniel. Thank you so much, Dan Khalil. Thanks, uh, guys. AIS and Great Castle Security. Thanks so much.